with the Heat Hoarders Podcast. 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 Heat Hoarding Drink. Heat Hoarding Now. Great show. You are now tapped in with the Heat Hoarders Podcast. Sneakers Life Community. Olympic sixes, then switch it to the force. Adidas, Vans, Reeboks, whatever I hoard. Phone pauses, I got it. Pennies galore. Fresh up tea, pink dad hat for the horse. Cop from the internet or from the stores. If I got it, I cop it. Fuck it, to get more. What for? I live to be fresh. Probably in some answers when I jump shot and step. Tyron, Lua, nigga. I ruin niggas with the shoe game. Five pair in a month, passed on the flu games. I can walk across the east in these A6. The jeans ain't designer, but a nigga. Nigga ain't basic, niggas ain't fresh, I had to put them in their places I want some 17s, they better come with the cases Jersey game, Mitch in the nest, say what you want, but D-Nice did my steps it's on. No shoes to cop, no clothes to rock, hype pieces all over my job Who you with? Mike's a nice, new balance is tight, man you know my kick game is nice Who you with? Podcast. Yo, yo, who you with? Who you with? Who you with? It's the boys, the He Hoarders Podcast. He Hoarding Dre tapped in. He Hoarding Mal. He Hoarding Grincho, aka Grincho Hoardington. <laughs> <laughs> and we are live at the Oakland Museum. Yes, sir. At the Out the Box, the Rise of Sneaker Culture. Yeah. What is it Sneaker Social? Is what sneaker we? Social with Sne- Bobby and D Nice, Melanie. Yeah, man, it was uh-huh. a good event. I love this shit. Yeah, we just seen a real dope ass panel, man. Like Bobito just really just blessed us. If you don't know who Bobito is, open a history book. You feel me? Better Bobito Garcia, aka DJ Cucumber. D- DJ Cucumber <laughs> Slice. <laughs> Cucumber Slice. The J E Weiss. That's nice. <laughs> and if you in the video games at all, you you've definitely heard his voice before. Yes. In your uh, NBA street life. For sure. If you haven't played NBA Street, you're probably living under a rock. Yes, you probably weren't popular in high school. Wait, NBA Street? Volume yeah. 2. Volume yeah. 2. Oh, yeah, I played voice. Street. He was the voice. For sure, for sure. He yeah. was like the announcer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. So I, you know if you didn't play that, you probably was a nerd. You probably was like in books. Yeah, so Bobito sure. came all the way from New York to bless us. Uh-huh. We um, Before the panel and everything, we went to the uh, exhibit they had. They had the exhibit out the sneaker box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The rise of sneakers. Yeah. So they had like a, a nice sized room with a lot of stuff behind glass, a lot of history. Uh, what y'all see in there? Of course, you know them towners, them J Kids samples was extra dope to seen me. Seen the J Kids yeah. samples. I think, I think yeah. them was dope. If we would have really got those, like I think that we seen the first uh, boost. Yep. <laughs> the Nike the first, shocks. Yeah, we seen the first <laughs> Nike shocks in there. Yeah, <laughs> they had a little uh, a little part where they had uh, Jordan one through. 23. I think it was one, 23. Yeah, 23. 1 through 23. I ain't going to lie. Some of those look like real recent. Like, <laughs> like they just came out. And they don't seem like they was like. like yeah, they didn't have all OGs, yeah. but they had yeah. one of each number. They had some cool stuff in there. It was, it was a good experience. It was cool, though. Was and cool then what though. about that that running shoe we seen? It was like a Converse, but it had three stripes. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. And I that thought was that crazy. was hella weird. Cause I think that might have been the first collabo ever in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Adidas Converse, Converse running shoe. And that, and that and shit just went yeah. downhill. They started funking after that. Yeah, yeah, I right didn't even, I didn't in even, the 50s. I didn't even read the description. I should have yeah. read the description. It, was, it said... Um, it said back in the day, like a lot of their, it said upper, knowing I was a lower cut with the three stripes, but they said a lot of their upper had the three stripes on them back in the day for the Converse. Oh, okay. Yeah. So right now we in the room, the social, the panel just ended. We're out, um, It's about eight tables around the panel in the room. We got uh, Spray Saints here. Yep. We got FBCC. Yes, we got Soul Space. So um, family, family. Yeah. <laughs> family. We got we got people lining up at the stage right now trying to get their books and uh everything autographed by Bobito. Yeah, you got the book, right? Yep, I got yep. one of the last okay. books. They uh whatever ta- table that was, they had a couple of the books. And uh and Danny Danny and Lion gonna get it signed for me right now. The wow. coloring book was dope to me. Did you look through the color did y'all look through the coloring I looked, book? I looked I looked through the hip hop coloring book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one. That's yeah. Yeah, I didn't hook dope. through I didn't look through the sneaker one, but how, I how much they wanted for that thing? You know what I see? 
For the coloring book. I don't know. I'm going to have to go over there because I think Roos I think I might have to get that real talk. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> for yeah, therapy. Go get one for Roos. Therapy. Roos yeah, I mean, oh, no, yes. real talk. Coloring is therapeutic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we, we always color. It? Ask Roos. Roos, we always color. Is Roos mic on? Yep, Roos on. Roos, pull your mic up. Tell them what you like to color. Talk. Don't you don't want to talk? He's shy yeah. right now. But, yeah, we've been getting these new books from, like, Michael's. And they're like a whole bunch of patterns and designs and me and him will sit there, outline with marker, color it in with color pencil and do all type of stuff. And we'll be there for like an hour just coloring. Young so Bosky. art is definitely uh-huh. therapeutical. Ther- 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 yes. Very, 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 very. And um, we got uh, we got um, Spray Saints. He's right next to us. So he came with this pair of Jordan 1s. And it has a Bluetooth speaker and it has a uh, Alexia in it. It has Alexa. Yeah, Alexa. Alexa yeah. Whatever. What's that? Google or what? That's yeah, I Google? think that's Google. Yeah, Alexa. Google. Yeah, you Google. know how you say Alexa, play this, or Alexa, play this. He put that actually in a Jordan <laughs> one. He took the whole uh midsole off. So yeah, no, nah, it was it was actually that de- definitely dope. Like he sat there, he showed me that you could tell Alexa, and I think he's since he's a developer, he's developing a playlist that will read off that will read off sneakers to you. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Hold on, uh, we gonna be right next to us talking to somebody. We gonna see. We, we gonna let him. We gonna let we him. Gonna say we can get him on real quick. Oh yeah, yes sir, yes sir. But yeah, I think it's just man, where sneaker culture is going, the fusion that we're doing with, you know, just the futuristic and right. culture and just incorporating the old with the new. I think it's dope. I think it's dope. Uh, I think Bobito said it best, like for. You would, who would have thought that sneakers would have got to a museum? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, I would have thought I would have never seen it. I probably, maybe like my kids' kids or something like that. Yeah, but, but not just like a for whole me, display though, yeah. for something that yeah. we've always been interested yeah. in. Yeah. It's, hella, it's hella, hella dope. Okay, so we, we, we got uh, we got the man here. What we Spray Saints. We hey, was, Spray Saints. We were just talking about the Jordan 1s you came up with. Can you um, first let people know who you are, your social media and everything, so they can follow you and everything? Yeah, so my name is Zach. I go under Spray Saints. It's at Spray Saints, just like Spray Paints. Let me, t- let me have you talking to the mic. You got to talk close. There we go. Okay, there you go. So it's under at Spray Saints, S-P-R-A-Y-S-A-I-N-T-S. Uh, customizer, customizing shoes, predominantly Nikes, a lot of J1s, and uh, yeah, living in the Bay Area. Okay, well, well, what we were doing before you came over here, like I said, we were talking about the, the Jordan 1s that you brought with the Bluetooth. Can you explain the whole concept and what you did so i took two completely different shoes they're actually two different jordan ones brought them together uh through the external customizing painting etc etc uh, i went in and one of the shoes i built in chipsets of bluetooth bluetooth speakers built into the front tongue mm. all rocking and rolling on the other shoe built in alexa so programmable api built skills around sneakers you can order dominoes you can pick up a lift <laughs> throw your foot up rock a rock a playlist and just killing it and that's in the pot bluetooth tops. right bluetooth <laughs> all bluetooth all wireless comes with a case too so you can wirelessly charge everything with the case uh, you can get in you uh, you can actually have much louder music the case has built in bluetooth the case has built in speakers that's what's up take that's it what's to up. a party you roll up everything's running on batteries don't got to plug anything in nice. Golden. Yeah. now if i'm not mistaken i heard you discussing earlier that you were developing like a playlist that'll read off shoes or like jordans or something yeah so i also wrote skills coded skills myself you can okay. actually go in and you can enable the skill for alexa it's called sneaker facts one is sneaker facts the other one's sneaker release dates i wrote two of them you can ask alexa ask sneaker release date for another release date she'll be like man jordan's coming out with blah 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 blah. it costs this much on this date and i do it uh, every that's month dope. That's that's oh, yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's clean, it's, it's, it's futuristic yeah that's, yeah, that's the type of stuff we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get into yeah yeah we're, we're building gonna, it baby we're building it yes yeah. sir okay so, since you just since you just brought something up since you just said that what did you think about the pizza hut shoe did you see the it? The high tops. The high top where you can order Pizza Hut from it? It's cool, but it's a it's a dash button. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you put a dash button anywhere. Yeah. You can't build Alexa. You build Alexa with a shoe. You can do like 100,000 things. You build a pizza button. You can do the button. That's it. Right. Yeah, it's exactly. cool, they pay but Grand it's Hill, singularity. <laughs> it's, right. it's one thing. Right. Yeah, they gave Grand Hill a nice little check for that. <laughs> so how long did that Alexa shoe take you? About 100 hours. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Fully breaking apart shoes completely, cracking out, you know, 
Yeah, man, it was it, dremeling out parts of the shoe, building it in, making it all fit, right. and then making it look nice and functional. How'd you come up with that idea to do that, though? Well, I work for Amazon. Okay. Uh, they have no clue these are oh. dropped. They don't know. Oh. I dropped them around a bunch of de- developers, and they, they went nuts. All our Amazon the listeners idea, keep it close. Yeah, the idea yeah. was like, man, I want my shoes to be able to do something without me even having to, to say anything. I can walk into my house, certain things... Uh, basically start up when I get the proximity of my house. Right. I can ask and call her up for the weather, all kinds of stuff, and it's all just built in. The boy. Dope. That's uh, dope. That's dope. That's dope. So what do you expect, in your opinion, what do you see coming with the future? Since you're, this is, you, you basically just opened the door, so you know you're going to have something to do with it. What do you, what do you kind of expect for sneaker culture and doing these types of things? You know, I think I think the panel nailed it. Uh, big time green. Green's a big thing. Everybody wants to yeah, be yeah. green per se. Yeah. It's sustainable, which makes sense. Um, also, tech. Tech is huge. Under Armour. I mean, they're doing some big things with accelerometers and proximity sensors and <laughs> being able to like tell you how fast Michael Vick ran up the, the line, so on and so <laughs> forth. So I'm expecting a ton of tech. Tech is getting smaller. It's getting stronger. It, it's a Daft Punk song, man. It's faster. It's stronger. It's blah 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 blah. <laughs> It's, yep. That's where I see it going. That's what I'm building for. And yeah. That's what I'm making happen. I see a lot of auto uh, lacing too. I'm auto pretty lace, sure they'll yeah. add that to Tinkerfield, a, man. A, a lot more shoes. Yeah. Having the motor in there, like they, yeah, they did something. I think it took them a little long, but like, ultimately, he's he's an amazing designer. Like you can't take anything from from Hatfield, but yeah. Ultimately, th- Back to the Future kind of revived that. I, I think, think it all. Movie. They did take a long time, but I think it worked out for them. Yeah, it's a good time to do it. And everything, how they dropped it, and they gave him the first auto lacing shoe on that date and everything. Yep. Everything happens for a reason. Was it on Abstract Grinch when we was watching the Abstract that he was saying, like, they already tried to do it like 10 years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they showed all the the intricate. Yeah, but again, I'm a believer sometimes is that, you know, we watch the movies, we watch everything, and. Sometimes we may we may not be ready as a culture for some of the some of the futuristic things. Because I'm a firm believer in that some of the stuff we see in the movies they already have developed. It's just we're not ready as a culture yeah. to be flying in the sky. Yeah. And you know what I mean in 2010 rather than 2020. I agree. I totally <laughs> right, agree. Right, and the technology has to be there. You know they started doing it. Exactly. And the motors yeah. were too big. Yeah. And, yeah. You know Alexa was never <laughs> developed. You know four, five, six, seven years ago it didn't exist. Yeah. So Look, I totally agree. Looking like the Obamas in the, in the <laughs> display. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for coming and talk to us. Man, y'all sure. follow him on Instagram. It's Spray Saints. Spray Saints. Yes, From the Bay Area. Thank you for your time and everything. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. that, boy. You got anything you want to say or say anything? you go. Dude. What you got coming up? Man, tech, 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 tech. Uh, <laughs> just look forward to tech. If you've thought about it, I'm probably making it. Nice. <laughs> Shout out Amazon dope. Prime. That's yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Always. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. We still rocking. A couple people just stepped in the building. Always. A couple people just stepped in the building. Much appreciate uh, it. Who we going to run to grab? We going to grab Jay? Jay, grab him. Okay. Shit. Jay. We got to get D. I know D going to want to come here. Grab him, sure. grab him, grab him. Davey. <coughs> Your time is now. What do you mean? Come sit down. Come sit down. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. The Heat Hoarders Podcast. I just got off of work. Got off of work. Sat in the Bay Bridge traffic. Shout out to Slick Rick in the background playing. (laughs) (laughs) Should be good. There we go. All right. We good? Good. Touch you up. There we go. All right. We good. Rip Boys in the building. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Let them know who you are. Let uh, them know. Jonathan Davies, work yep. at uh, Riff SF. Riff yeah. SF in the building. Riff. So, yeah. Riff. So, John's in the building. Um, we want to have you come on. Hey, did you get a chance to go in the exhibit yet? I did do the exhibit about a month ago, I okay. think, or three okay. weeks ago. Got an early one. Yeah, it was fun, dude. It was good to see... A mix of old and new. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, I think, with a lot of like the hype going around with Adidas right now, to see the actual roots of it, okay. yeah. where it started, and where that hype sh- began, and how it's transformed into what it is now. Yeah. It exactly. Was it was yeah. It was a breath of fresh air. Instead of just going in there and seeing all the new hype stuff, 
What shoe do you remember from the exhibit? Um, I'd have to say the one that I geeked off of was the Pigeon SB. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that when you walked yeah. in? That is uh, one of my favorite shoes of all time. Okay. Talk about super hype, you know, a couple yeah. hundred pairs. You could yeah. never get your hands on a pair. I think we talked about that, Doug, too. And I, I was telling him, like, every time I hear the story about how it released, yeah. it, always, it always, like, boosts, boosts up my, boosts like, thing, more, right. more love for that shoe. <coughs> And it's that been real interesting dope. to me because y'all like I'm not an SB guy, and I know you're an SB guy. I love them. like big, big SB guy. So it's always like I love hearing the stories. You know, like I follow you on the gram or whatnot. I love kind of seeing how you kind of give explanations on everything when you do. Uh, what else we got? How's your Air Max, Air Max month? Air Max month was dope. Um, Air Maxes are cool, other than just March. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's uh, I was a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie about how limited everything was. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was kind of crazy to see some shelf sitters that just sold out immediately, and people were camping overnight for it. Right. Um, white and red Air Max ones. I mean, those are you Man. know go down to foot action three weeks after they release Please. and pick up a pair, no problem. Right. Yeah, pick them up at the outlet. And now they're flying off the shelves and. Yep. But do you think you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, it's always a good thing, and it brings you know a lot of love back. But it's, I wish it would be a little bit more widely released. Yeah. I would okay. like to have one to rock, one to stock, because I don't know how many pairs I've torn through over the years. Yeah. <laughs> to have another couple pairs to throw back in the box and stop, stop stash in the back of the closet, but. Um, well, I think it's awesome that they're bringing all those things back and going a little bit more true to the OG and doing the old mesh and stuff like that, the old boxes. And yeah. it was uh, it was definitely dope though. What what is your favorite Air Max? My favorite Air Max of all time. Um, I have to go Stash ninety five. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I sat outside for twenty four hours in San Francisco waiting for that shoe. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I remember. So you, you, you know, got that history behind that shoe. Yeah, and uh, Stash, you know, did the release on Saturday in New York at Recon there. Mm-hmm. And then flew in to do a Sunday release in San Francisco at the North Recon here, which is Dark Side now. And uh, I sat outside for 24 hours just to, you know, get my box signed, get my shoes. Oh, yeah. And that's another thing, too, with all these raffles and stuff like that. It's changed so much that you don't get those interpersonal communications with people you right, don't get right. exactly you don't meet those other collectors i mean you see it through instagram you see it through facebook groups and stuff like that but you don't get to interact with people and spend right, that time right. outside yeah, and yeah. The you don't get to different. organically yeah. meet people yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, you're sitting next to that's my favorite group. part of camp out you're sitting there for 24 people. hours yeah, yeah, with yeah. somebody next to you you got to talk to somebody you got to talk about something somebody Eventually you don't get to know the person next to you in line. will break the ice. And then they might know somebody who's a size 13 that'll be able to hook you up. Yeah, and then right. you're like, oh, okay, that's why I ain't been getting no 13s because you're in front of me in line <laughs> and you've probably been in front of me every camp out. Right. That's right. <laughs> so speaking of camp outs, you said 24 hours. What's the longest camp out you ever did? That would be the longest camp longest out I ever did. 24 hours? 424. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I ever did longer than 24 hours. I, I would never do it again. I don't think I would do <laughs> two days. or I would do 24 hours, but I'm not doing more than a day. No, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, it was brutal. Like, I mean, I was outside in the cold and brought my sweatpants and yeah. brought a little lawn chair. And it was just, you know, the essentials of being at home I didn't have. It was just kind of eye-opening to sit outside in the streets for 24 hours. Yeah. 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 Worth so, it in the end. Yeah, yeah. So what's, what's, what's next for Riff SF? You guys got anything coming up? Nothing crazy. We're really trying to get and get our clothing stuff going. Yeah. Um, we're very limited with the amount of space we have. Uh, we're in Japantown. Uh, it's a smaller shop. We can't expand as much as we'd like to. But um, we just opened Riff Orange County, which is oh, huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Um, Congratulations. That's uh, Thank you. That's four stores for us now, which is just massive. Um, so I don't know if we have any plans of expanding outside of California or... But I think I think uh, Jeff wanna Jeff grow. uh he might have something up his sleeve. I can see a riff somewhere in another continent. I was about to say I can see a riff Tokyo. Oh, yeah. I can see a riff that Tokyo. Yeah. I, can see a riff. I can see a, I can see a riff London. You you didn't you yeah. didn't hear that from me. You didn't hear that from me. Yeah, you know they have a bunch of homies out there. Worm Tokyo. Yeah. And, um, Gusto and everybody out there. So they know a lot of those guys. So uh-huh. 
I think that would be dope. Yeah, and I follow, uh I was looking on your gram. I see you guys. Did y'all take like a riff, like a retreat? You guys just yeah. took in Vegas? Sir? We, oh uh, yeah, yeah. We just shut down for three days and just went out to Vegas. It was amazing. It was weird. Okay. I seen one picture. Nobody had on sneakers. Like no, we were all wearing dress shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like it was just awkward for me because like I own two pairs of dress shoes, so like I had to pack my Doc Martens that I've had for twelve years in yeah. my duffel bag. Because I refuse to wear those things because they're not comfortable. It was hilarious. I was looking at the picture. I was like, all these collectors. All so how, these, was the Vegas trip just like one weekend? Yeah, it was, we went out uh, Tuesday through Thursday. We Literally, it was like a week before we went. We we're like, hey, let's just close down the shop and head to Vegas for March Madness. That's what's up. Got, Dope. you know, went out for the night, and that's why we were all dressed up. But, okay. uh, yeah, it was a blast. It was a blast. And it's um, it's cool to have and meet everyone from LA in the new Orange County location because I hadn't met them yet. Oh, okay. Um, and it's the, see how the collecting and stuff is so different from here to SoCal. Right. And uh, like the styles and everything, like it's totally different than anything you'd ever see up here. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. A lot more vans and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that is getting bigger up here, but it, yeah. it's just a totally different style. So compare for the new OC location, <laughs> is that pretty big? Is the OC location? From what I've seen, I haven't been there in person. Um, okay. I'm taking a trip down to SoCal uh, next month, so I'm probably gonna go hit that. And Cause I think hopefully the they'll let me guys, rummage in the back. The week you guys opened, we were down there with Ace and them for the Silk Show. Yeah. And then they went ahead and went over there. They said it was a real dope show, but we didn't get a chance that we blasted back. So yeah, I'm, I'm super juiced. I mean, it's, it's cool that they have everything in one location now, because that's you know Riff LA and then Riff Dose is two doors down. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we'd like to do that in San Francisco. We just don't have the space. And um, they're opening up, uh, you know, one with everything all in one, which is which is dope. Probably my last question for you that I just see a lot of our bigger stores, like you guys are needing more room faster. Yeah. Like, we, yeah, they're like growing a out. Lot, they're everybody's growing out, of, growing out of their space. You know what I mean? But that's good. That's a good thing. Of Everyone course, starts. Yeah. You got to start somewhere, but that's definitely a good thing for all the, all the stores. It's, um... I mean, we've got to get really creative with all of our racks in the back, and I got to yeah. move like six racks to get to this. And, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a Tetris game every every time everyone wants to shoot. But I mean, it's uh, it, it, there's so much stuff coming out, especially with like Jays. I mean, the market's kind of limited on those at the moment. But um, there's just so much stuff coming out all the time, and to have that for everybody, we we need the space. All right, my last question for you is, how is Ricky doing at work? Ricky's killing it, man. <laughs> Ricky's killing it. Um, it's been great having a new person on board. Yeah. Um, somebody that's a true, passionate sneakerhead. That knows about shoes. That knows their stuff, knows all the new releases. Um, and we know a lot of the same people. Like, that's... It, it, it's 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 awesome. I actually I'm a little upset I don't get to work with him because I, I don't like working on the weekends. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm a weekday guy. Um, so, but he was basically perfect for the job. Yeah, it was a perfect fit. I love having him there. He's an absolute asset to the team, and you know everyone that we work with, we get along super well. We're good friends, and uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have him there. Yeah, yeah so it's a pleasure for you. For us having you here, Man, yes. awesome. thank you yes, for stopping for sure. by. Shout Appreciate out to you. Riff, everywhere. everywhere, all the riffs. Riff those Riff know where they can find you. Riff SF, yeah. Let people know your Instagram and everything. Us uh, at Riff SF, R I F dot S F, and this is Jonathan Davies uh, at J Davies four one five, aka SBs and leg tats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. You guys, yeah, thank you very you. much for having me. I appreciate Always. it. Always, thank you. It. Is it time to go get him? Yeah. Is it is it time to go get him? Um, yeah. Send Danny over there. Can you go get Bobito for us? The Heat Hoarders Podcast. The Heat Hoarders Podcast. I guess I missed the panels, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, you just got here, huh? Yeah. yeah. The panel was only 30 minutes. Was it? Yeah. Was it dope listening to Bobito, though? Yep. Yeah. It was dope. It was uh, Bobito. Um, uh, uh, I'm not sure where she was. Melody? Mel- yeah. Melody? It was Melanie, yeah. Melody. Oh, here we go. I want the beach ones. Where the beach by Trey ones. <laughs> and, uh, right oh, right here. here. Beach by Trey. Uh, uh, hype beach headphones. <laughs> here we go. Thank you, Rich. All right, yep, thank you. Okay, we just got uh, D Nice just pulled up. Yes, sir. Uncle D Nice in the building. He just he just came and stole Dre's microphone. It was slid. Real so how, how how you feel about the event so far? Oh man, I thought the event was I thought it was a really good event. Um, it's it's dope <laughs> when you're not from an area, but like I'm a transplant. But yeah. I just 
it's every time I see an Oakland event, I always be like, man, it's just you just see that genuine organic love. There's and so I, much culture. culture it's, in it's, yo, it's so much culture. The Bay Area gets slept on so much. Like I've been here so long, I'm a Bay Arian, and I just, <laughs> I just like to see when stuff like this come together. And it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's dope. Like I love the organicness of Oakland. Like that's one thing I don't think people will really understand unless you come out here and really experience it because it's it's just it's just you could feel the love like it ain't i don't know like from being from brooklyn you be in an area like this you see five dudes hating on you like yeah yeah he think he fly with that jacket that matched the top threes i know <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't lying i'm fly <laughs> so let the people know what you got coming up i know you do a lot of stuff so yeah. let the people know about the new store the classes whatever yeah. you got All coming right, up so the new store Carpe Diem is going to be at uh 1420 hey. Broadway, uh, oh. downtown Oakland, okay. right next door where okay. Falaka used to be. They just moved, um, and that's where we're aiming for late April, early May for the uh, grand opening. Okay. We're also going to do a fashion show to uh, to commemorate the store opening as well, and that's then. What's up. Uh, Within a month, first month or second month of the store being open, I'm going to start the FBCC School for Customizers, hey. where I can actually teach uh, these young kids a trade. Yeah. And then we're also, at, at the event, we also want to do stuff where we have like father, father, daughter, father, son oh, events, that's dope. where that's it's dope. free, right. where that's we have time. the... We had the dad and the son or the dad and his, you know, like the dad and his kids come through and yeah. do an event together. Like yeah. we really want the uh, the the store to not just be a store because it's called Carpe Diem, which is seize the day. And that can mean uh, a lot of different ways. It doesn't have to be financially. It could just be just being there. Right. You know yeah. what I'm right, saying? Right, so right. that's the only reason why I really wanted a store because like when you have a store, you have a headquarters. And I wanted to be a headquarters to really start doing a lot of social things for this environment. Like the environment right now is crazy politically. Uh, yeah. Racially, you know, and then it, the the sad thing is that a lot of our young kids don't have OGs or they don't have dads, you know. So they they need people like us who actually we raise our kids and we don't we you like you throw the events, the uh, you you give back the shoes, you yeah. collect shoes and you give them, you know that that's 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 heartwarming. Yeah, we need positive stuff to show yeah, the kids. Always, exactly. Always. Yes, always. <coughs> so, um, what did you wear? Cause I don't think I ever see you in a pair of Air Max. What did you wear for Air Max Day? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He called my car too, cause I I really don't wear Air Maxes like that. But for Air Max Day, I did buy the Vapor Max. Okay. 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 I like okay. the Vapor Max. You I like them? I like the Vapor Max. It was weird when you first put them on, cause they so damn light. <laughs> but once you give them a you walk, it took me about five minutes to walk around. I was like, yo, this is a nice shoe. Like, and I'm. I'm very on social media. I say what I feel like. I don't yeah. care right, right. who the brand is, if they pay me, if they don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say my opinion. If I don't think, if I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it, I like right, it. Right. But the but the um the, the Vapor Max, I like I like where Nike's going with that. I do. Did you I, come up with like when you was putting them on and when you took them out the box? Did you think about any kind of reconstruction, anything, any kind of <laughs> custom or anything on you that? You know what? Well, when I when I was when I was putting them on, I was like. I was like, how could I customize these? Because yeah. I really, I woke up early to do the Nike ID joints and it sold out. Yeah, yeah so that's I want, what I heard. I wanted to do the, the black fly knit joint with the with the ISO, but they sold out so fast. But I, but so I said, you know what? Let me go to the mall and try the shoe on and see how they run. If they run small, they run big. Right. So I was actually eight and a half in those. And I was like, okay, I'm still trying to think of what I want to do. I do want to do something to them, but <laughs> I, I just don't do. know yet. I know so, you want to do something to them. Yeah, <laughs> but you ain't, you just ain't put it together yet. Nah, I'm too busy with the store. Like I gotta, I'm, I'm yeah. making clothes for the store yeah, yeah, yeah. and trying to get everything with that together. Once the store is open, I feel like because it's stopping me from doing a lot because I have all my machines in there, oh. so they all covered because we're painting and we're doing electrician. Yeah, so it will take a lot. Of, stuff. It, yeah, it takes a lot of extra to do to do exactly. something right now. But once the store opens, like I told, I told my students. I said once the store opens, it's over. It's a lot of customizers who calling themselves the GOAT. They think they doing this, they think they doing that. Yeah. You still doing the same thing you was doing two years ago, you ain't on my level. If you still putting Python on Jordans, you ain't on my level. <laughs> because that shit played out. You know what I'm saying? Excuse yeah, my yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, nah. nah, you not, nah, man. Hey. This, this, a, this a curse in our uh, podcast? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, what anything. the fuck, Bay Area? We in this motherfucking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, man, yeah. yee, we here. Hey. Hey. Yee, we here. 
<laughs> so you got you got a date a date for the grand opening? Yeah, uh, right now we're aiming for the end of April, early May. It just uh, depends on how um, the construction goes. It okay. took a while with um, with the city of Oakland to get the permits, but now we we good. So um, we we got the contractors uh, getting it in. But I don't want to rush it, even once the painting and everything is done, because you only get one chance to make a grand opening. And since yeah. this is something completely new for Oakland, because this store. It, the one thing about the store I want to say, there's no clothing in the store that's from any major brand. I'm only allowing young people to put their clothes in my store. That's so if you make up. your own clothing, Duh. you do that. That's all I want in my store. I don't want no Sean John. I don't want no Supreme. <laughs> right. I don't want nothing. There's no reselling. Yeah, we're not yeah. doing none no of that. No reselling. No, that's we're not dope. doing none of that. Everything is organic. And I want to help young kids. So, like, I've been working with the uh, Marin, with the city of Marin, uh, Marin City, yeah. with their youth with their youth kids over there, helping them produce their own clothing, showing them how to get the clothing design, how to work with the Photoshop, how to work with uh, a manufacturer and how to print it out and how to push it forward All because phases. I feel like um, our young kids they don't have that and if we could teach they them don't. that and give them just a vision and show them how easy it is especially with the new age of media how you could easily c contact China and, and get them to make your stuff for you or you could even they have uh, cut soap factories in LA SoCalLA.com if you're making your own clothing line you're listening SoCalLA.com SoCalSewing.com my bad you can actually give them your tech pack a design and they'll make your clothing for you right there in Los Angeles and they even have one on Market Street in San Francisco it's not called SoCal but you can Google uh, clothing manufacturers in San Francisco and you can find it you can definitely get your own stuff made in America and for cheap that's hella dope that's hella dope that's hella dope the whole so, yeah. the, the whole concept that you got just having no big name brands giving people giving kids these that these opportunities outlet, that's that's hella clean yeah I was just thinking saying. about that I was like yo yeah. your spot gonna be the place to be all these new brands and these people that are just trying stuff exactly. they're gonna they're gonna be like they don't bite they they don't don't bite. nobody <laughs> no, nobody's giving giving them that like my whole life right so before I uh, I started doing what I'm doing now I'll give you a rundown um so at 13, I taught myself how to cut hair. So at 20, I own my own barbershop. At 23, I own th two barbershops. And then 9-11 uh, happened in New York. A lot of stuff slowed down. My mom wasn't working. So all the money I had saved up, she wasn't She wasn't working. Nobody knew she wasn't working. So I gave her my savings account. And then I joined the um, Coast Guard. And the Coast Guard, I put three locations. I put Florida, Hawaii, and California. And uh, I've been to Florida, I've been to Hawaii, and California is where I was supposed to be. Like, I don't like being hot. Florida's uh -huh. too hot, Hawaii's too <laughs> hot, the Bay Area is perfect weather for a New yeah, Yorker. Yeah, we get, yeah. we get, it's perfect. It's like fall all year round here. So I felt like that was by design. And the funny thing when I say that, one of my best friends I grew up with, when we were in seventh grade, he, we took a picture. I had a starter jacket on. It was a San Francisco 49ers triple fat goose. He had a Tampa Bay Buccaneers triple fat goose. He lives in Tampa Bay right now, has his own business. I live in the Bay Area right now, have my own business. That's how I'm tight. And this that's was in cool. seventh grade. I'm 38. Look, that's how, how shit come in fruition. It, it's true. And, 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 and the thing is, with, with Carpe Diem, is, it means seize the day. So I want to help everybody seize the day, These young, especially these young minorities. Like, and, and the thing is, I'm not greedy i have knowledge i went to fashion school so i know how to talk to factories i know how to make tech packs so i want to use the the game that i use my military paying to pay for to give it away for free because I, I i don't have a boss right now and i love how that feels and and in the black community we always taught we work for somebody else i want us to work for ourselves and make our own money and, and and show these kids that you can do it like maybe college might not be for you maybe you are a dope fantastic artist like everybody can't be a rapper but it, you you, you can definitely create. Yeah. Man, for sure, for sure, man. Like, educate and make sure y'all check out Carpe Diem when it opens, man. Yep. Did we get yeah, an official date? I was, I was gone. Did we get an yeah. official date? No, we didn't get the official date yet because we're still doing the construction, but we're hoping to open early May, late April. Okay, okay. Sure. Well, for anybody else, tell them, uh, tell them what you got. Go, tell them what you got coming up. So you get up out of here. All right, so what I got coming up is the uh, we got the fashion show for Carpe Diem, so I'm definitely gonna hit FB. I mean, not, that's me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> got sold because I want his son in there. Okay, for sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna have his son in the fashion show. Um, so we're gonna do the uh, we got so brands we got in there right now is we got Recess Kids who's doing the clothing for kids. Um, I also got Beyond the Pen. They're young black brothers from uh, Kentucky. Okay. I have London Mud who's from Atlanta. Um, I have uh, Feel Good Threads who's from LA. Okay. So those are the brands we have right now, and I want to get more brands on board 
because I want like I think it's dope when you when you have a grand opening and somebody you see your stuff there and it's an upscale street boutique. Yeah. Right. And then not only that, but we're gonna be doing bespoke suits. So that means if you want to come in, you get your own suit tailor made for you. That's what's and up. we're doing that's it for the price of three hundred dollars. If you up. know anything about bespoke suits, they start at twelve hundred and up. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. and I'm also gonna be doing interning. So I want to have young kids come in, intern, and when they're done with the intern, I want them to have their own suit. So if they do go on to interviews or even college interviews yeah. or whatever, they suit. have a nice suit. That's Not a suit for court, but a suit for success. Straight Opportunities. Up. Opportunities. Oh, man, we thank you for man, blessing us real you, quick. Man. This is only the prequel for the FBCC episode. Yeah, we're going to have him come out. He's going to get his through. own episode. Yeah, but for since, sure. Oh, definitely. I'm ready Thank for you it. for blessing us All today, though, and, the, and we enjoyed the panel, too. Appreciate it. Yeah, See, y'all guys have to have the party. <laughs> you know it. Hey. <laughs> Is it time? Okay, I think we got a special guest coming up. Is it time? I think he's about to come right now. You got to get these nice headphones, too. Yeah, yeah, give him the nice headphones. Yeah, man. Opportunities. You know what I mean? We got to hurry up hurry up because I think they're trying to kick us out. You got your question? Yeah. I got mine, too. I got mine. The Heat Hoarders Podcast. The Heat Hoarders Podcast. Oh yes, thank you. He is on the way. They go to man. The man of the hour. Man. The special guest here at Oakland Museum. Come to bless the mic. The yeah, legend. Yo. The legend. Come the legend. The legend. Just grace them with What's your up? voice one time for Let everybody know who you are. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Peace. My name is Bobito Garcia, aka Cool Bob Love. I hit the Oakland Museum of CA, repping at the Sneakerhead Socials. A lovely crowd, uh, a deep community. Had some uh, great questions posed tonight and uh, a lot of positive energy. So, I- I'm happy yeah. to be on the podcast. Welcome yeah. to your the panel. Listeners. The panel was beautiful. Yeah, it was. Before appreciate we start, where did man, the name DJ Cucumber Slice come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm currently directing a film titled Rock Rubber 45s. Okay. It's my third. It's kind of like the ending of the tri- of the trilogy. My first was Doing in the Park, Pick Up Basketball NYC. The second was Stretching Bobito, Radio That Changed Lives. The next one is Rock Rubber 45s. And it's an autobiographical documentary of my life. And in it, you will find out the answers like where my various crazy nicknames came from. So I'm not doing press these days because I'm yeah. concentrating on the on the doc. But it'll be out in 2018. Okay. You can go to rockrubber45s.com or at rockrubber45s to find out information for it and see updates. And uh, there'll be a lot of sneaker knowledge in the film, um, as well as basketball and music knowledge too. No, I can't wait for that, man. For real, man, can't wait for that. So, um, so, so we all basically got to we got a yeah, question. We gotta, let's start with me, cause so, so we just had an Air Max. Okay, you already done. You already asked one question. Next, <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, I think my que- my question had two parts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. Uh, you did the ESPN. Uh, is it the shoes? We need when, a new season. Yeah, for real. Really, do, do need a new season. But talk to ESPN. That's not my decision. <laughs> Um, but who um, who would you say had probably like the craziest collection you've seen when you was filming? Um, I mean, that's tough to say because, um, you know, we went to a lot of celebrities' cribs. You know, LaDainia and Tomlinson, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Fat Joe. I mean, you know, these are people who are millionaires who get seated free product from the brands. So it's almost like not fair, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say uh, if we go with people who have been collecting their whole entire lives and don't necessarily readily get the free sneakers from the brands, the two, um, well, the, the person I was most impressed with was, was Biz Marquis. Okay. Because he had uh, sneakers from every era. Whereas a lot of other people that we saw during the filming of, of the series, It's the Shoes, mostly had like more current releases. But you can't fault them. Some of them were just younger people. So. Right, right, right. Um, but Clark Kent, I've never been to his crib 
you know, his closets are, are, are you know, are part myth and part reality, right? <laughs> it's like mythical because it's like there's no way that someone could wear that many sneakers that are so fresh that often, but he does it. He One pulls it off. Yeah. And um, but we didn't when we filmed him for it's the shoes. It wasn't in his crib. It was actually in his recording studio. So I give it to Bismarck. He had that variety. That oh, was a good God. question. Right, well, my question is: you're batting, you're batting uh, a thousand with I, questions. The pressure's <laughs> on you right now. <laughs> it's on me. Well, my question is more personal. It's just realistically, did you see it all coming? I heard you saying on the panel that you know we have influencers, but you're our influencer. So did you see it all coming being as, you know, maybe these are things that you were just interested in as you were coming? No, up. we, we, my collective generation, is, we, we didn't see anything coming. There's no way we, any of us could have predicted that playground basketball would be so globally popular uh, that hip hop would actually have longevity, that sneaker culture would even grow to be recognized as a culture mm, yeah. um you know i i personally participated in all as a kid growing up in the 60s and 70s and um you know i just feel i've always just been someone who wants to document our own culture not as an outsider enchanted by a subject but as a person who has lived it that wants to tell it and share it so that it's it's uh, it's told in the right way and in an honest manner as well. So hey, fellas, thank you so much. I got a DJ. Thank at you. 10 o'clock thank at, you. At Sol- Is this live? Yeah. Word. All right, yo. So peace yeah. to everybody out there in the Bay. Been coming out here since 1990. Shout out to all my peoples and uh, yo, much love, fellas. Yeah, Thanks we a lot. appreciate you too. Appreciate Y'all need it. to get a woman on, on the uh, on the uh, as as a main host <laughs> okay. of the podcast. That's, that's a good a, idea. Okay. 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 Balance this out. Peace. Idea. Sure. Okay, man. So we had a good time here at the Oakland Museum. Yeah. We're gonna have to cut it off because we're gonna go try to hit the after party, and it's Friday, <laughs> and it's yeah. uh, it's first Friday, first Friday. So it's and the oh, after party is gonna be downtown five. Oakland. Yeah, <laughs> so town. We got Bobito, uh, DJing at Soul Space. Oh, it's not first Friday. It's, no it's, the first. Friday. it's the thirty first. It's the thirty first. Oh, I'm. <laughs> it's not even. We gonna first cut Friday. that out. Okay, start still all over. side with us. Start up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start wrapping it up. Yeah, man. Yeah. All the space. I mean, here. Go yeah, ahead, I bro. really appreciate the legend, you know, coming and talking with us. You yeah, know, he man. started off as a DJ with this, with his yeah. radio station, so blessing us. That's a that's a real good look. That's good a real look. good look. Did good you ever look. DJ? Were you, did you DJ? Before? Me? DJ? Yeah. Nah, I never okay. DJ. I, I never used to DJ. try to get down back I used to day. do music, Damn but I, didn't, I never DJ. DJ. I never got with the turntables. But yeah, that was a dope look for us, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. Big Grincho always. Yeah, man. Big homie getting the, getting the contacts. Shout yeah, out, man. Jeff. Yeah, we got it. We, it's, it's heat hoarders. Shout out the plug. We got this yeah, nigga, FBCC. Slide up on this after party. Hey, man, don't be touching that Toy Story collection. Yeah, I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> go, get, off go get that the wood. bag and go get the shoes. <laughs> I'm sending my son over there to go get my shit. But because yeah, man. All right, well, leave. always yeah, tap man. in with us. iTunes, Stitcher, and Google. SoundCloud. Google Play. Bruce, say something before we leave. I had a good time and I will leave. <laughs> we out of here. All right, we out. Peace. Yeah. The Heat Hoarders Podcast. The Heat Hoarders Podcast.